To uh, start an auto section control job, so we can have this GPS location turn on our sections as we go across. We have our simulation set up with eight individual sections as shown on this mini view. We have our switch box mini view up on the screen. We have our auto section control switch adjust the amount of overlap acceptable from 1 to 10 10 being no misses at all fearing down there we recommend starting at a very high number of 9 or 10 to avoid any misses on your seed products we can turn the auto section control slash guide master on or off by simply touching this button we have a boom override so if we have a full width section that's not auto sectioning we can turn it off or on and same thing with the granular boom we can control them individually if we had NHG or liquid control we would have a third selection down below up at the top is the view of the map we can minus in or plus in we have our heads up display, okay, perspective view from behind, a horizon view, and a north is up view. Over here we have our type of map we're going to have. We have it selected on full width, but we don't have a full width boom. We have granular section control selected so we'd have it coverage granular or our as applied reads we could have as well okay. so we have our map set up next we have to create a boundary we have an artificial GPS simulator spitting in GPS location I'll touch on the satellite to show you that so we do have a position so we can have an imitation field created we'll go through that process right now we have to start by creating a field if we had a list of fields we could touch the blue sorry touch the blue icon and then pull from a pre-made list or we can create a new field by touching the green. We have our client name, our farm name, and then we can create a field name if we wish. We will call ours test, test 11. green check mark now we notice our master clutch indicator is turned red again this would indicate that something is not set up properly if I touch that it tells me what we don't have we don't have a job loaded so we've created a new field but we have to start a job very useful tool touching that to tell you what's not set up properly the job menu is the one below the field menu touch that again we could pull from a list if we had a list or off of a thumb drive if you wanted to pre-make jobs X30 has a unique feature where it will 
auto create a field and it'll give it a name on its own or we could rename that field if we chose by touching here and I can name it whatever I want but it has a name tagged along to what drill we're using and the time and date as well so we'll let it use the auto created name now our clutch indicator has turned white indicating we can turn our master clutch on so we're stationary eight now but we are ready to start applying product so now we want to set up to create a boundary over on the far side here we have our boundary selection here we have to decide which direction we're going to round, go around the field if I touch on this icon here it has the offset we want to have it half the distance of, or the width of the drill either left or right so we want it to paint a line either on the left side or the right side when it's set up with a negative offset the line will be created on the left hand side of the drill so we're happy with that we have 920 inch boom half that is negative 460 the line will be painted on the left hand side this sets us up to start recording at any time we want to pause the recording job we press this icon here our pause this button with the green check mark will actually complete the job okay so we're now ready to start recording our boundary so we have a field created and a job loaded our clutch is white indicating we're ready to go this button with the red box starts the recording process we're set up to record on the left hand side of our drill there's our pause button and a completion button we engaged our cedar it started moving the sections turned green we're painting a blue line on the left hand side of the boom we have our section buttons enabled up here I can turn them on and off manually we have another section switch on top I can turn individual sections on and off manually there as well if we were coming to an obstacle such as power poles that we didn't want to have a, a wavy line we wanted to have a straight inside line we could simply pause the recording function seat around the obstacle then once we get our true path going straight again we want to start recording again so you touch this button and the red one again and it connects the line now it's going to use that as our guideline makes for quite a bit straighter line for our section control once we've completed our field we can set the section control to just control over seated areas so as it's set right now the boundary boundary is unlimited so we'll just simply turn on and off over covered fields so when we have overlap it would turn on and off anything that was covered once we enclose this field we can limit the seeder so it'll only seed within the boundaries of the enclosed field we also have a function on the seeder called headland mode where we can set up a secondary boundary inside our field boundary and seed within that boundary first and then come around and seed our headland boundary 
As we get lined up on our final pass, we don't have to travel the complete pass. Okay, I've stopped our forward motion. Now all our, our clutch is turned off. And we can simply touch the green check mark to complete this boundary. That's what's involved in creating a boundary. Strongly recommend to create boundaries for all of your fields with a uh, GPS location such as uh, RTK. You're going to have accurate boundaries that you'll be able to keep from year to year. And we can pull these boundaries in and uh, so this recording process wouldn't have to be every year but you could record them for your first year so you have all those field boundaries for future reference.